Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are back with another travel vlog. It has been a while. This is a really spontaneous trip for us. Brandon is here and he just actually booked this for us yesterday. We are going to Deep Fire RV Resort. Creek Fire. Crap! I've asked him this like five times. Creek Fire. We're going to Creek Fire RV Resort in Georgia. So we're gonna be 23 minutes away from Savannah. We've never been to Georgia together and we have like a 50 states map. So we're trying to get all 50 states. So we're gonna to get to go to Savannah, which I've been to Savannah before and I loved it. That vlog is on my channel as well. If you wanna check that out, I went with a friend though. So we're gonna to get to go together and explore Savannah for a day. We went to Chick-fil-A, I got a Cobb salad and some french fries and then I got a Starbucks drink. We have three hours and 40 minutes till we get there and I'm going to try to spend as much time as I can reading Done and Dusted. I'm only 9% through and I have book club tonight at seven o'clock, 12.32 now. So I don't know that I'm gonna finish it but I'll probably attend anyways. But I've heard such great things about this book and honestly just 9% in, like I'm loving it so far. Let me show how to speak we are You fool. This could have been love. She probably didn't like me anyhow. Stop and ask Miss Bell for some of her sweet tea. Love this song, don't I stand? Yes, you do. I just made Brandon pause the music so I could tell you. I was sitting here and I was like smiling at my book. I'm still only like nine, ten percent in or whatever because I was eating my food. But when the banter in a book is so good, like already I love the characters, I love the story and the banter. Like I'm just like sitting here smiling like a fool. And then Brandon has music on and Good Directions by Billy Currington came on. And like for some reason that is like one of my favorite songs. I love that song. So I was just like vibing. And that girl right there, that girl was slick. She's a crocodilly. She's slick. She's me. Crocodilly? That girl is a certified crocodilly. Did you fucking miss it? You're the one who told me to get more content. Yeah, back there where it was like nice. Tanger. I've always said Tanger. Tanger outlets. I, I do think it is, but we've always said Tanger. It's Tanger. What is this? Good middle school hits going on the way here. Did we not? Mm -hmm. We did. Pulling it in. I gotta go check in. It is very sweltering, 87 degrees. We just got into our spot and this place is so nice. It's the nicest place we've ever camped. I love it so much, but it's hot. So anyways, I'm gonna show you our spot and then I'm gonna go in and do some cleaning. Here is our spot. It's very nice and we are right by the pool. It's right over there. Maya's hot. She's waiting to get in the AC. Aren't you, baby? Hi, friends. Hi friends. It's 717 and we got the camper set up and we got most of the cleaning done. There's still some things to be done, but we're hungry. So we decided to leave. We're going to a place called Mexicali Fresh. Brand suggested we go like into Savannah and I was like, we're not. Like I'm just kind of an active wear and he's like dirty from like setting up the camper. What you actually said was we're trash. <laughs> and I was like, we can't go into Savannah like this. So we are just gonna go get some Mexican food, which honestly sounds amazing to me right now. And then we're gonna go. There's like a huge lazy river at this place, which is one of the reasons why Brandon picked it. Oh my gosh, we passed it on the way and it looks so amazing. More food just came. I got the chilaquiles. Let me show you. Brandon got some kind of seafood. Seafood chimichanga. And there's the rice. Dig in, baby. <laughs> I love Mexican food. One thing that's amazing about the South is they give you little, like your drink to go. Like they'll give you like a whole new one, like a refill. It's very nice. That's Brandon's. So dance, dance, dance game, dance game. What's up party people? We are headed to the Lazy River. We're at the pool bar and we got deli wraps. And then I got pasta salad and he got french fries. And we got a virgin mango daiquiri. And it is really good. <laughs> Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, That's what we just did. What did we just do? We just got tickets to see Lady Gaga in 
Vegas. Vegas vlog coming soon. Coming this fall. Coming for you, Vegas. Co. It's a coffee shop and like there's nine line apparel and stuff. And this is Brandon's pick. I have the Betsy Ross and you have the Liberty Bell, which is vanilla and caramel, and this is blackberry and vanilla. Go to the first side. Vanilla caramel, Liberty Bell. I can see the caramel. Bravo's good. Mm-hmm. It's low. Strong, like I like felt like I was like sucking up the blackberry syrup at first, and then the coffee's strong too. It's good though. I think this would probably be better as a 16 ounce because there'd be more milk in it to dilute it. I told him I'm like we should get small sizes, even though he didn't listen to me because we'll probably be going to a million coffee shops today in Savannah. Take one of how well Maya walks on a leash. He's already peed. Here it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> I told you it was coming. We got ourselves parked and walked around a little bit. We're in the Plant Riverside District and we're at District Seafood right now. We're right along the water. I was kind of worried that we weren't gonna be able to get anywhere for, in anywhere for a reservation, but we just like walked right in. We got po' boys. They are so incredible. I'm gonna have fries with Old Bay sauce. And we are living. There's a perfect breeze. It's incredible. We have a sweet tea with lemon, which, oh, sweet tea with lemon. There's something hits different about that. Stan wanted to stop into birds to smell the cookies. Do you smell any cookies? Not really. I don't smell any cookies. cafes here so many things to do i guess where we end up at kung fu tea like always we love kung fu tea there's a bunch of them in charlotte and we love to go to them so mr stan went to the winter melon tea which is our favorite if you haven't gone winter melon tea from kung fu tea and you get a chance it's amazing we're here in the beautiful savannah right now we are in Wright square i think we're just walking through is that Wright square Yes. yes. Headed to Alligator Soul for our reservation at 6.15 and we're not even hungry because we've just been like eating. I feel like we ate those po' boys not too long ago. Brandon's looking at Tomochi Chi's grave. I love the willows here. I think mean, they're so beautiful. The weeping willow trees. Weeping willow trees. We're at Alligator Soul for our anniversary dinner and Chef made us a mini lasagna. We're gonna try this now. Brandon said it's a solid eight and a half. It's pretty good. Eight and a half. Thank you. Anything else I can grab for you? I like the Cajun like marinara. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. With the answer, like you got such a nice dinner before That's you. Right. Okay. Safe travel. That's amazing. Thank you. Next time you're in town. Thank you. Wow. It's like the cheese inside of it too, and the spice. Mm-hmm. I'm 
Brandon's trying his first alligator. Alligator tempura. It's, I would say it's similar to chicken, but it's not as tender. Yeah. But I wouldn't say it tastes like chicken. I heard it here first. The chef makes some good bread. dinner at Alligator Soul was incredible. We would definitely recommend it. What did you get? Diver scallops and alligator. Uh, there was alligator like tempura. rice. And it was, yeah, it looked really good. And then I got a summer salad and it had like grilled peaches on it. And it was also very good. We had like those tiny little things. Those were good. The bread was amazing. They were super nice there and it is gorgeous on the inside. So definitely if you want like a really nice meal in Savannah, I would recommend Alligator Soul. Good morning, beautiful people. My husband here is all cranky. I dragged him out of bed for an 8 a.m. aerobics class. Yes, he did get almost void hours of sleep. And he's still cranky as can be. But we never do anything in the morning on trips, okay? We never do. And so I got him out of bed for 8 a.m. aerobics and the pool was not even open, even though it opens at 8 a.m. So we're gonna see, but I'm so happy because we have the whole day. <laughs> so the girl just came to open the pool and she says water aerobics is at nine. This guy definitely said eight, but it's like, oh, you go sleep. But I'll show you how beautiful this pool is. Would you like to share with the class? Yeah, look at this asshole. Show them, show them the asshole. Hi everybody, I just wanted to close out the vlog here and say. <laughs> well, I was laughing because I was thinking about these people in front of us. <laughs> okay, sorry. Continue. Hello everybody. Hi everybody, I just wanted to close out the vlog here and say. Sorry, get my attention. Hello. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> Hi everybody, I just wanted to close out the vlog here and say that we needed. <laughs> Get him out! Yeah, don't you let them walk by! Yeah, tell him! <laughs> hey, we see him. He's Hopefully him. Hey, shh. Yep. How many times are you gonna say hi, everybody? I'm as many as it takes! Hey, be nice. Okay, we made it a water aerobics this morning. It ended up being at nine o'clock. The lady was really nice, and there were two others in the pool with us, and it was honestly really fun. Like, didn't you think it was a good time? It was a good time. It was a good time. And it was, it was a good workout. We got a good workout. And then we went to the Lazy River for a little bit. You know, we just love that Lazy River. Like, I would definitely go back to Creek Fire. It was incredible. We got everything packed up, and then we went back to Black Rifle Coffee. We got more coffee. Brandon got, like, a hat and stuff. And then I we- got a hat, and then I got some, uh, a onesie for my nephew. Yeah, for a little nephew. We are almost up with the trip. We are 20 minutes, out. 20 minutes out. We just went and got Chipotle for dinner. That way we don't have to deal with it because we'll have to be like unpacking everything. But we're really excited. It did rain a little bit on our trip. But overall, we had a really, really, really nice time. We're both very glad that we went. Exploring Savannah was incredible. The campsite itself was incredible. We had never been to any like that. There's a lot that I didn't film, but there were, were like so many incredible amenities there. Like we didn't even get to explore them all because we weren't even there long enough. And we didn't get to go to Tybee Island or Hilton Head or anything like that. So we'll have to like go back and do that then. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you stay tuned. We'll have some travel vlogs, but we also have just like a lot of other cool vlogs going on so stay tuned subscribe follow me on instagram if you want that's also at with of savannah we love you all so much we'll see you in the next one bye